Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly grind video where we go over all the events on the global and the JP side of Dokkan Battle. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, global side news. Tree of Might begins. This ends Friday 4 6, so you have some time to grind this out if you haven't already done so. This will run for at least one more week. It ends next Friday. So this event's actually really useful. This event, you go and you get the um, the actual medals for Turles in order to Dokkan Awaken him. Um, he becomes a really super useful unit. You definitely need him on a mono extreme team, so if you were able to pull him, you definitely want a Dokkan Awaken him. Now, before you go ahead and do that, you do have a freely, freely droppable Turles, who is an extreme strength type. Now, I did a full in-depth analysis of, of this actual event, which I'm going to essentially just give you the highlights here. You don't need to worry about days, only Turles. Turles will drop over here from any of these stages. I personally run the stage where you also get the Fruit of the Tree of Might, um, but you can run any of them if you want to. So the option here is to run the one where you actually get the drops from the uh, of the actual Fruit of the Tree of Might medals, because when you get those medals, you get so many of them that you will end up going to Baba Shop to Baba them because that's what you could do with them. And when you go to Baba Shop, you could Baba like 400 at a time. Well, obviously you have to do 10, 10, 10, 10, which is really obnoxious, but you get a lot of Baba points from this. So this event is perfect for grinding out Baba Shop points. So you can go ahead and do that. You can get your Turlises, get him up. He will, when you Z-Awaken him, he does not cost that much to Z-Awaken because he Z-Awakens with the Fruit of the Tree of Might and Metals. So the actual Zenny cost is super low. You get him up to an SSR for a 50% chance of increasing the super attack of this Intelligence Turles. Now I would recommend doing the Intelligence Turles first if you haven't already done so to get him to super attack 10. There is the Technique one from the World Tournament if you have him as well. I would recommend getting him up to super attack 10 also. But definitely focus on this guy. Uh, that's going to be really awesome. Also to mention, um, you have Icarus's to grind out from stage 2. A really useful item just like the Weeses. Fruit of the Tree of Might's really good if you lack key support. If you lack key leaders, that's really, really useful as well. So go ahead, grind out this event, get, do all this that you possibly can. Highly recommend doing this, especially up to the last stage where you get the uh, Turles Doken Awaken medals. Even if you don't have them, grind them out just so that way you do have them because you need them for that Kid Boo team if you are running a Kid Boo leader. Um, overall, really good setup. Um, the, the actual two free-to-play units here are kind of meh. They're all right, they're not horrible. But um, they're like OG, like when the game first came out, all right. Like, <laughs> like you won't ever use them now again unless you're just trying to have some fun. But anyway, guys, that runs until 4 or 6, so go ahead and grind that out if you haven't already done so. Next one is the Strongest Rivals. This is the Korra event. Um, really nothing here except for the Dokken Awakening medals for Korra. Um, so th this event's cool. First off, don't ever grind out stage 10 for the Frieza and the Korra. These two never drop whatsoever. They have, so they have like a 1% drop rate. It's definitely not worth the grind. Um, you can grind out the King Cold and Lord Chilled if you want to. I don't believe they have high drop rates, but I don't think they're as bad as Frieza and Korra. So you can go ahead and grind that out if you want to. It's essentially, the thing you really need to note is all of the medals to get the Korra Doken Awakened, uh, Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 4, 5, and 5. Yeah, that's about it. Um, or 6, one of those two, because those both drop those medals. Um, and Stage 7 for the Goku medals if you need those. So it looks like... So this is what happens. You get the SR... Korra from summons, right? He will Z awaken to the SSR. Then you Doken awaken him using the Nays and the other guys, <laughs> Dore, uh, Bowser, Goku, and Korra medals. And he will Doken awaken into his SSR variant in his final form. And his final form will Z awaken into an ultra rare, the intelligence one. Now, he's not really that great overall, but he feeds into the tech one and the physical one. Obviously, you're going to want to go for the physical one, super attack, if you haven't done so. This event is a pain in the butt because there's so many medals you have to grind. Uh, it, it's a very long tedious grind but if you don't have elder kai's if you're just starting the game um or if you don't want to put money into the game for like the actual attribute banner so you know that way you can increase the super attack this is the way that you're gonna have to do it uh stage one two four six and eight uh seven are gonna be the ones you need to constantly grind until you get all the medals in order to doken wake and all those sr cores that you happen to pull if you get lucky to pull if you haven't pulled them i mean again if you're gonna grind out stage 10 good luck to you but they almost never drop but anyway, outside of that, that's all that this event really has to offer. The drops from here aren't worth it, honestly, at all. You're never going to use any of these guys on any team, even free-to-play teams. Um, this, again, runs until 4-4, so go ahead, good luck. If you're just looking for Dragonstone, just go ahead and do that. Um, next one is the Extreme Z Awakening. This runs until 329. Nothing really special here other than good luck. You need a revival team. And if you don't have a Super Saiyan, or a Super Saiyan, if you don't have a revived Golden Frieza leader, you're going to want to run a Golden Frieza, the Technique Golden Frieza, with a mostly Technique team and a Kid Boo in order to take it on with a Golden, with a revived Frieza friend in order to beat stage 30. 
Uh, that's about it. it. Runs until 3:29, which ends today. By the way, apologies for not having this video out yesterday. Uh, I woke up late, <laughs> so I couldn't record before work. Um, so level, the next level is going to be the actual Res Revive Frieza event. This one runs until 3:31, so you have two more days to grind that out if you want. If you don't have him already, uh, Doken Awakened. This is gonna be the event, and you actually drop an Angel Frieza from here, which this actually feeds into. The Angel Frieza we got from the Other World Tournament, if you were around for that. I do have that Technique one. I have not grinded him out. I have to go ahead and grind out the drops. His drops weren't really that much. I think I ran it like five times. I got one drop. So I don't know what your drops were like when you grinded out. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I wasn't able to get it. I do want to get him up to Super Tech 10 just because he's a free-to-play agility unit. You never, you know, that, you can never go wrong with those. Um, but definitely get him. He's a cool unit. And then Stage 2 is obviously the Awakening Medals for Frieza. So that's here. You just do this is the metals only Doken Awaken him as of right now. We don't know what's going to be in store for the future. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on. So that runs until the 31st. So two more days for that. Uh, next one is Resurrection of F event return. So that's back. It runs until tomorrow, 30th. Um, you actually get Weiss metals here, Weiss items here. Highly recommend grinding those out. Those are really, really useful. I might actually do that tonight is grind out all those weak metal uh, items because they're really good for Super Battle Road. Um, I would recommend getting them because they really help reduce damage. Uh, let's see over here. You also need the uh, Frieza medals to Doken Wake in your Frieza's. This event is really good for grinding out your Golden Frieza to Super Attack 10. You're going to need to have Mecha Frieza. You grind out the Strike Event Mecha Frieza, uh, get all of them to so Awaken, and then you could Doken Wake them with, uh, well, yeah, you're going to Doken Wake them with 10, 10, 10, 10, and 3 medals. You need 10 of each of his forms and accept 3 of his Golden Form uh, actual medals. Then you could Doken Wake him to Golden Frieza. Z awaken him to an ultra rare, feed him into the technique one to get him up to super attack 10. Now, I personally only did like five or six of them, and I used Elder Kai's on the rest because I just didn't want to go through that damn grind. But you can definitely do it, it's definitely worth it if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can increase the super attack of that golden freezer real quick. Actually, I think that this is the time that I just gave up on the grind fest that is Dokkan Battle and just started using all my extra Elder Kai's, and I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, but I think it really was that LR Gohan grind that actually killed me. Um, other than that, from this event, the other items that are really good are Bulma items which increases attack for all allies by 25% for 5 turns, super useful, and Marin, which reduces enemies' attacks by 25% for 3 turns. Now, that's not really that great in terms of like comparison to the Whis medals, but you get an additional 3rd turn with that uh, reduction, so if the enemy isn't doing like really hard attacks on you, like not Super Battle Road, not like um, not uh, the other Extreme Z, well you can't use it on Extreme Z Awakening, um, this would be good for Dokkan events, personally in my opinion. Dokkan exclusive events, that's when Marin item will be really useful. I have used her in the past. Um, you don't really need her if you need an OP, if you have an OP team, but it's not it doesn't hurt grinding her out. So both of these metals are really good. The, the top two kind of suck. I would not recommend getting either of these. 2500 and 1500 attack? No way. You know, the attack and defense, it's not, not worth it whatsoever. That does nothing for you. Um, outside of that, that's really about it. Um, go ahead for the Whis metals. That's really, that's really all I can say here. Um, get the super powered support item. I don't have any of the actual levels where those where those uh, items are available, the support items are available, but they are available here. Um, anyway, guys, it runs until the 30th, so grind that out if you want to tonight. Tonight's going to be like today and tomorrow, and be like the last days you could actually do that. Um, but anyway, next event is going to be the summons. We're over onto the summons on Doke on the global side. Uh, four six, we have the strength unit of uh, the, the strength banner available, runs until the 6th, so you have some time. Uh, this has the LR Broly in it. I don't actually have either Hit or Kaba. I'm, I'm considering doing some summons. I can get some Elder Kai's. I would like one of their units because I do have both the leads. So that wouldn't be horrible. Uh, I would also like, I think I need one more Doken, uh, one more dupe path of uh, the base form Gotenks and of uh, this Trunks over here in order to get him fully, like all dupe paths unlocked. So I might do some summons on that. Um, if I do, they'll probably be up tomorrow. I, I don't really know. I've, I've already put some uh, coin into Bleach Brave Souls because it's killed me with the amount of new shit that's out that I don't have and the new stuff that's coming out. So that, that really broke the bank. But um, anyway, uh, this is what's here. I didn't, the, the Kaba is the support unit for Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. Hit is the extreme support unit for the Janemba team. This 18 sucks. Um, outside of that, pretty decent banner. Um, only do it if you need Elder Kai's. Don't hunt LR's. Never hunt LR's. Learn from my mistakes. Uh, next one is the Agility Banner that runs until the 4th. You can get Pan for an Extreme Super Saiyan, or an Extreme, a Super Super Saiyan 4 go, uh, Vegeta team. She is the support unit for Super uh, Super Agilities. And then Mecha, uh, Gr well, Ruldo, is going to be the Extreme Support Unit for a 17 team now. Unfortunately, 17's like, 17 and Gogeta are the only two 120 leaders I don't have on Global. So maybe when they come out for the third year anniversary, I will go ahead and get the 17 because I have LR Gohan. I don't need, I also have Majin Vegeta. So we'll see what happens. 
Anyway, uh, runs until 4-4. You have some time to go ahead and get this if you want to. Two other Kai's. Vegeta, the Great Ape, isn't horrible, but Hyper Metal Rildo is pretty cool, but good support units. Um, overall, Majin Vegeta is in this banner as well, like I said before. Uh, this Vegeta up over here is a really good unit if you want to get him Doken Awakened. This Trunks isn't horrible when you get him Doken Awakened. Um, 17 is a staple in an uh, Extreme 17 team, so you definitely have some choices over here if you're looking to pull on this banner. Um, again, so that's going to end soon. Next one is Resurrected Warriors, runs until 4-4. Discounted summons, get one featured uh, SSR for the first three, I believe. Um, not horrible. I did two summons off camera. I got two Bardocks. So I wasn't upset. I just need one more to get the last dude path unlocked. Um, I don't really recommend, so I, I won't recommend to you summoning on this unless you don't have the technique um, Golden Frieza. If you don't have the technique Golden Frieza, then it's probably, it might be worth it for you. Uh, this Kid Boo is also pretty good when he Doken Awakens, he becomes kind of useful. Um, uh, outside of that, I mean, you can run it if you're looking for a revival team, if you happen to pull the, the actual Golden Frieza, the revive Golden Frieza. I wouldn't recommend it, though. I mean, the, the discounted summons, maybe, but that's about it. Uh, anyway, runs still 4-4. Good luck if you're summoning on it. Good luck if you're summoning on anything. Uh, last one is going to be the Revive Freeze event. Ends in two days. This is actually a pretty good banner. The only thing I'm going to say to you guys is if you don't have Full Power Freeza or Kid Boo, this might be the ones you want, the banner you want to pull on. Uh, the next banner should be the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And even though they might change it because this banner just came out, on the JP side, they did have the Revive Freeza and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku on it. So don't go like ham on it because they're probably going to be available on the next banner as well. Again, I don't have any information as to the, um, super, the what, what's going to be on the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner. I don't know. If if global's going to change it up or not, but if they keep it the same, you're probably going to see most of these guys come back. Um, outside of that, this is a pretty good banner. If you want to try to do some summons for any of these units, um, they actually they, they stock this banner with really good overall units. You really like this freezer right here, the full power freezer, perfect for a Korra team. This um, this golden angel, well, this golden freezer over here, perfect for a monotech team, perfect for a revival team. Uh, this Kid Boo, perfect for a revival team, a Bot Majin Boo arc category team, uh, intelligence team, whatever you need. And Goku, the same thing. So these are really all amazing units. Um, you have some time if you're going to do some summons, good luck. Um, now we're moving over to the JP side. Sorry for like the full 10 minute overview of all that on Global. Um, on the JP side, it runs till 4 or 5, the Universe 6 Saga event. Now I organize these not by dates of when they end, I actually like kind of went along with Dragon Ball Super. So Universe 6 Saga, you have Kaba, you definitely want to get him. He will Doken Awaken to Super Saiyan. Then Doken Awakens with the new event that's out to a Super Saiyan 2. You have Hit, uh, you can Doken Awaken your Hit with the Vados and the Champa Medals. Um, the Kaba will Doken Awaken do Super Saiyan. Definitely get him with the Super Attack 10. Highly recommend that. If you're one of those people who like to give free-to-play units like crits and stuff like that, definitely get him Doken Awaken more units to get all four dupes unlocked once you get him up to Super Attack 10. So you can do that. He's not a horrible unit when he Doken Awakens to do Super Saiyan 2 form. Vados medals are all available on Stage 2. Um, if you're looking for Dendes or any type of healing item, Stage 4, uh, Kaba drops from Stage 6, Vegeta medals are Stage 7, um, Champa medals are Stage 8, and that's about it. So good luck on that grind. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but they're not horrible. They're not abysmal drop rates, so you're just going to be grinding out a little bit. And you know, honestly, Kaba is worth it. Hit, not so much. I still don't find him a very viable unit, though he does stun pretty well. <clears throat> Next one is going to be the Universe Survival Saga event that's available. Runs until 4 or 5 as well. Um, let's see here. You have uh, Hercule statues on stage one, not worth grinding out. Sensu beans on stage two, if you lack those. Uh, Goku's on stage three. You can Z awaken him to feed him into any base form Goku, or you can go ahead and uh, Doken awaken him. He does Doken awaken into Ultra Instinct Goku and feed into the Doken exclusive Ultra Instinct Goku for attack up. Uh, you have the Kachin Medals on Stage 4, which you could trade into Baba Shop for some items. Stage 7 is just regular Awakening Metal. Stage 8 is Urine for a free-to-play tech unit. Stage 9 is Ultimate Gohans, which you can grind out. They drop as SSRs. You could feed them into the Ultimate Gohans for Super Tech Increase. Or you could just get them with a Super Tech 10 if you want to. I don't really find any use out of that. Um, you have the Angel Frieza, which now, which uh, obviously if you have the Resurrected Fre uh, Frieza event, when that comes out, you can just drop an SSR variant. Uh, but he, you can drop him out over here. Plus, you could probably get better drops. You just have to Z Awaken him, which is a pain in the butt, which wastes metals and wastes Zenny. So you're probably going to be better off going off against that Resurrected Warrior event, the Resurrected Freeze event, to get the agility drops. But anyway, he is here. He also will Doken Awaken into uh, Revive Frieza. So if you don't have the actual Revive Frieza, he's a good free-to-play unit. Um, and the Frieza medals are on stage 11. Goku medals are on stage 12. That's where you get your you could Doken Awaken these units. Uh, the physical Goku Doken Awakens with his own medals that are available on stage 12 into Ultra Instant Goku. Goku, that's how you feed the increase the super attack of the go of the uh, actual intelligence Goku that you summon, the exclusive. And the same thing for the revived Frieza. He will Doken Awaken with his medals to increase his, his own um, super attack of the intelligence unit. So there you go. That's what that's here for, and that's about it. Uh, it's a little bit of a grind fest, runs until 4-5, so good luck if you're doing that grind. 
Next one is the um, Space Survival Edition. I guess this is this is the addition to the Universe Survival Saga. Um, let's see over here. You have Khalifla over here on stage two. She Doken awakens into a Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, which increases the super attack of her agility counterpart. Very useful. Kel Doken awakens as well into a Super Saiyan 2. She does not feed into her Berserker form. So you're going to use her, though, for a Universe Survival Saga team as a support unit. Very viable support unit. Um, if you don't have the agility Khalifla, when she Doken awakens and only on a Universe Survival team, she is actually a pretty damn decent unit. She's just like a little bit lesser of her agility form. So highly worth it. Highly recommend getting her up to Super Attack 10 and Doken Awakening her. Uh, just to have her on standby. Or to use her if you don't have that agility unit. Um, anyway. Stage 4 you can get some medals and some Hercule statues. Kind of worth it. Eh. Um, it looks like there's only Z Hard on Stage 5. Stage 6 you get Doken Awaken medals for Kaba. That's where he goes to Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. And stage two, you have the Kel and Khalifla medals, which allow you to Doken Awaken these two guys. Um, you also will do can Doken Awaken your agility ones with Khalifla medals and your physical Kel with the physical, well, with the Kel medals. Honestly, really worth it. Really good setup between all these guys. This this combo is really awesome. He has a built-in crit when he Doken Awakens with Universe Survival Saga. Um, so he is, as long as you have him on a full Universe Survival Saga, I think it's like 49% chance of crit. Um, awesome, really awesome units, especially the free-to-play units there. They did not do them that bad. Runs until 4 or 5, so go ahead and grind that out if you want to. Now, the Doken exclusive event here is the Mastered Ultra Instant Goku. Runs until 4 or 12. This is where you Doken Awaken your Ultra Instant Goku medal, or you do your Doken Awaken your Ultra Instant Goku. You get the medal here. Doken Awaken is here. When your health drops below 50%, he goes into a Mastered Ultra Instinct form. These medals also Doken Awaken the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku into, well, his TUR variant, which is pretty decent. I mean, you, you can run him on a team. I did a full team building guide. If you're interested in that, go ahead and check out that video. It should, be linked, it should be at the end of this video as a little card that pops up. Um, at the at, This is not really that worth it um honestly this one is really awesome highly worth it the um the strength one the strength godku card is his is ultra instant goku's best linking buddy one of the best linking buddies you could have for him so if you have him you definitely want to doken awaken him i highly recommend doing that the agility one's also good um in comparison you can have him if you don't have the god goku card but go ahead check out that video both of them doken awaken with these medals they finally get fierce battle so now they're finally a lot more viable they're essentially the spitting images of each other but the strength goku has the first awakened and he increases um his attack and defense by 30 i think it was like 25 percent or 30 percent for three turns something like that so he's a lot more viable in my opinion but uh, anyway guys that's it for this event you can go ahead and grind that out highly recommend doing it, it runs until the 12th so you still have some time um, we're moving over now. Sorry about that. I minimized it. <laughs> there we go. The Extreme Z Awaken um, event is available here. I already went over this on the global side. Not really much to say other than it runs until the 5th. So go ahead and grind that out if you want to. Um, the Raditz event is available. It runs until the 10th. He is an AOE unit, which I just realized uh, when, I, when it came to global. Uh, runs until 410. So ha you have some time to go grind it. I still don't think he's really worth it. A lot of you were telling me, oh no, he's good on World Tournament Team when I was doing a global review. Personally, I still don't see it unless you have like a nuke or lead. And even then, I mean, my Majin Vegeta, uh, but the Technique Majin Vegeta before I got the LR Broly, I literally had to like nuke with him. I had to have all my key art manipulators set up. Um, I had to have the guys who stun everyone on the field, and sometimes he still wouldn't kill everyone. And that was only at 20 times. I could not imagine intelligence um, Raditz on a 30 times field. But you know what? If you guys are running him without any issues, let me know down in the comments below, because I don't know, I'm not running him, and I'm probably not going to even try, unless I go, until I grind him out on the global side. Um, but let me know in the comments below. So stage 4, you get the medals to Doken Awaken him, so he becomes that AoE. And when you're grinding out on Stage 2, you can go ahead and you get the uh, training location, so that's pretty awesome as well. Um, outside of that, that's really it for this event. Runs until the 10th, so go ahead and grind that out if you want to. The Extreme Z Awaken Doken Festival is here, by the way. Now we're over onto the last two banners. It runs until 4 or 5. You can get any of these three units. Up to you if you want to summon on it. I personally don't think it's worth it. But you know what? It's a cool banner if you don't have any of these three. It gives you a chance to get like the Broly or the Golden Freeze, a higher chance to get those if you're looking for any of them. Anyway, guys, that runs until 4 or 5. And last but not least, the Ultra Instinct Doken exclusive banner is here and Jiren's here as well. Jiren is the Universe Survival Saga lead. Um, really good unit, really good team. Um, runs until 4 or 5. Uh, again, 18 still isn't that good in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of her. Jiren's really awesome, really solid unit. Ultra Instinct Goku's here. He's a really a solid unit. Um, so, honestly, that's who you have. There's a lot of good units on this banner. Uh, if you're looking to summon, this might be one for you. 
personally like it, but that's about it. But anyway, guys, that is it for the overview of both the JP and the global side of Dokkan Battle. I hope that was informative. Yes, I promise. I know I keep on telling you I'm going to do a Bleach Brave Souls video. I promise I'm going to do my best to get this out to you. Um, I am trying to get this set up. I was going to do it today because this video is supposed to go out yesterday. I'm off of work today, but a friend's in town, so I'm going to be out most of the day. Um, but And I work tomorrow because my awesome boss decided to let me swap shifts from today to tomorrow. So I promise I will do a, a Bleach Brave Souls video for you guys. It's just that Dokkan is my main, main thing right now. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.